All right, everybody, Baron here, and welcome back to Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Now, a lot of you guys have been asking to see more, and I've been waiting on a proper scenario. And in order to do that, I needed a few models to be made, and they were made by my buddy Dave, or Games Majestic. He's got a YouTube channel, impressive mod maker. Look at this. What we have right here, these are whites from the White Walker army. And who are they led by? But a White Walker himself. Look at this. We've even got the Night King, but he's going to be coming in a later battle. So, basically what we have right here is the Stark forces are getting ambushed on the way back to Winterfell over there in the background since we don't have modded maps. So these heavy knights and archers are getting caught out of position and getting caught like kind of in a bit of a pincer here by both the Whites and the White Walker back there in the background, but look at this. The archers over here like, oh yeah, we got this. Well, you're about to get hit from the rear here, and it's not gonna feel good. I tell you what, these guys are carving through them. And it's just like, I wanted to do this because I'm very, very curious. Uh-oh, this isn't looking good. This isn't looking good at all. The last night, he actually escaped and made it back to Winterfell to uh, warn them conveniently since they weren't able to survive here. So Winterfell was luckily warned, maybe it was one knight who managed to survive, maybe it was a raven, and they've set up positions here to defend, right? So they've got the archers over here on this ridge. Since they're not going to be cutting, uh, they're not going to be frontline soldiers, they feel like, you know what, it's going to be a little bit better. And they also have some siege equipment here in these catapults. Now, while there is a decent contingent of whites, we also have a proper force of white walkers. You know, the others, the supreme race that turns people to ice and people to zombies. So I'm actually really curious to see how this one's going to work because the White Walkers themselves are really, really beefy units and really, really strong. Some of them got here got hit by a catapult. So I'm curious to see if these knights can hold the line or if the catapults mix in with these archers because look at this. How many of them are actually firing? Not a lot. A decent amount. But I wouldn't say it's like an exorbitant amount. They're all kind of like just set to hold position right here. So they are shooting from the side. But I want to see, because the Night King's like, I don't mean, I don't even know if I need to be involved in this battle. Do I need to go in there? Let's try to send in some of my chief lieutenants here. Look at this guy. He's able to cut down multiple knights without going down. I mean, some of these guys might not have dragon glass. Maybe only a couple, one or two, have Valyrian steel. So. Not all the knights are going to be able to do the best, right? Now, the Night King himself is, like, incredibly powerful. And if this attack fails, he's going to have to do a full-on assault with thousands and thousands and thousands of the Army of the Undead here. And it looks like the last couple White Walkers, these are the newbies. It's like, hey, you've just got converted, you know. You're a bunch of Craster's kids who've been converted. You, you guys have to go out there and fight. Because uh, we're gonna we're gonna put the main force here, and it looks like the last one. Oh my god, this guy just got totally wrecked by a catapult. He's doing his best. He's fighting. I can't wait to see a thousand zombies, a thousand whites, which is like basically another word for zombie. Look at those eyes. He's got blue eyes. I've always had blue eyes. So having seen that the Night King attacks from the north here, all of the families from Winterfell, basically the Starks called the banners, they've got more archers, more catapults, more knights, and even a surprise invasion from the Knights of the Vale. I guess it's not really an invasion. They've got all these heavy knights over here. And the White Walker attack is coming in here. There's a few White Walkers as well. There's like 30 of them. There's about a thousand whites right here and then there's check this out what they don't know however is the night king outmaneuvered them he decided to double back and flank around to the rear and he's got an attack here so here is the night king himself look at that look at the little points on his head the little like horns and spikes and he's got a thousand more whites so basically what we're going to be seeing is the forces of winterfell think that are going to be able to defend this. Now, I want to get Unsullied and Daenerys on a dragon and all that kind of stuff. So this is going to be interesting because basically what they're going to have to do is this force is going to have to mop up these zombies here. The white zombies. We've got a few cavalrymen running in here, so I'm actually kind of curious how this is. Oh my god, they're just like plowing through them. This cavalry force might be just overpowered. Now, hopefully, for the zombies anyway, they're going to be able to do something, but I'm really curious to see what's going to happen 
once the Night King rushes in with his force. Now, finding the Night King in this army is going to be interesting. He's got a specialized glass blade, remember? So here we go. They're about to get hit from the side. These zombies are actually have done a decent job at holding the cavalry. And so now all the siege equipment and archers are probably going to get crushed. They're going to... They're going to... <laughs> they're getting ambushed. They're getting pincered. A double envelopment! What does that mean? We... We hit them from both sides. Ah, uh, they should be able to hold. The cavalry is doing its job, but... The Night King here, wherever he is, I'm actually very curious to see where he is. So let's slow this down to half time real quick and try to find him. I'm looking for him, I don't see him, alright. So, the zombies have crushed into the catapults, they've taken down all of them, these poor, poor archers. You thought you were defended by your high walls, but no. It's gonna be really interesting to see what happens in the Battle of Winterfell. It's like, who do you think is gonna die? Who do you think is gonna win? Like, the last season of Game of Thrones was like, Who's gonna end up on the Iron Throne of Man? Alright, so here we go. Here's the cavalry reinforcing from the flanks here. This is freaking epic battles. Ultimate epic battle simulator, you know, it lives up to its name. Where, oh, where are you, Night King? There he is! He's kinda difficult to see, but once you do see him, you're like, yep. That's the Night King, alright. Alright, back to the action. So, eventually, all of his whites are going to die, and you're gonna see just how- well, all the ones in front of him, anyway. You're gonna see just how freaking powerful he is. So nobody's really gotten smart or wised up to the idea of, like, maybe we should flank around these buildings. Unless... I could do it. I have a grand idea! Come with me, men! Come with me! Order! Menu! On me, gentlemen, on me! You're, you're some of the bravest. Come with me. They just went a who? Alright. Are they- are they following me? Not- not really. Come on, boys! Yes! Alright, good. So, on me wasn't exactly on me. It was more of a rally. Alright, now what I'm going to do is give these orders. Let's go... Two! Attack! Send the cavalry! And then all we have to do is right-click, and look at that! I opened up a second front. So... I wonder what's gonna happen there, <laughs> if it's gonna work out or not. I can't wait to release the Night King, like, look at this. He's got 70,000 hit points. Hold on, let's control the Night King for a little bit. Get him out. He's gonna try to overcome the forces of Winterfell. What are you doing there? Alright, so now the Night King, here we go. Come on, boys! <laughs> Man flesh. They're gonna have, uh, they're gonna eat some warm-blooded men. I tell you that, that sounds weird. Alright, so let's just see how powerful the Night King is. He's one-shotting pretty much everybody. It would take, like, Jon Snow and some of the best warriors in all of Westeros to really match him. There's not too many people that could probably take him. But, here he is, double flanking. Now they've double enveloped these guys. And then... The Giant's Bane is like, man, I'm learning so much about tactics today. But yeah, the Night King's impressive. Do we have any White Walkers? No, all the White Walkers fell over here. Because there wasn't- oh, ooh, there wasn't another detachment of them. I'm like, freaking lost. Previously, on Lost. Alright, so these cavalry are gonna have to like, pull back and call for more reinforcements. They're gonna have to retake Winterfell now. So, the surviving Knights of the Vale went back and got reinforcements. However, we gotta remember one thing. The Army of the Dead even if it loses tons of people, if it wins the battle, it can recoup all of its losses by raising the dead warriors that they just defeated. Their army has swollen to three times the size it previously was. However, interestingly enough, they're still hanging around Winterfell, and the forces that are attacking are, well, let's look at it. We've got some Westerosi Knights. We've got the Unsullied here, that have been given new shields, apparently, because, you know, we don't have Unsullied yet. And then, like, hundreds of archers. So we've got thousands of the Unsullied. We don't have Daenerys on our dragon yet. And then, we have Westerosi Knights and Knights of the Vale over here, that are going to be trying to basically distract the Night King, which, who is hanging back right here, guarding this side. And over here, we've got, where are they? We've got all these White Walkers in the middle, right? So there's White Walkers, Whites, and the Night King himself. So let's see who's gonna win this. I'm actually curious to see how the Unsullied do in this. So they've got their long spears. They're not as long as pikes. Let's see how they do against some of these Whites. 
So I actually realized that there's probably a better unit to be used in place of um, the Spearmen to represent the Unsullied, and that is the Spartans. So look at this battle from above. The Westerosi Knights and the Unsullied Warriors from Essos, which I think are pretty sure, aren't they based off of like the Giscari Legion? Anyway, um, what we have here is like, think about it, they've got one rounded shield, a smaller one, as opposed to that big squarish one, which is more Westerosi looking. And they're known for their fearlessness in battle and their martial prowess, so I figured the Spartans would be perfect for it. So this is kind of cool. So they're being supported by archers. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over here with the Night King and the Westerosi Cavalry. So this is basically the Night King won the first battle of Winterfell, right? And this is the counterattack where it's basically like everyone's like, all right, we've got to overcome and overcome the adversity on the field. They have to do this. Otherwise, all of Westeros is going to succumb to the power and the dominion of the Night King. And he's just going to rule, you know, the endless winter, right? So, I, I always love how, like, you'll see these, like, formations, the battle lines. Like, it looks like the cavalry are trying to wrap around. So, it's like what, what's called, like, in math, anyway. Like, the shape is, like, concavity, right? So, if you see someone getting concavity, look at this. Oh, my gosh. The Unsullied just busted through the middle here. They're knocking back <laughs> the White Walkers, as well as a bunch of these surviving... Uh, whites over here, which are coming in from, I don't know, I guess like the surrounding towns. Where are you guys coming from? I didn't think I put anybody over there. <laughs> That's hilarious. But yeah, so let's see how the cavalry is doing, because honestly, oh my gosh. What's going to happen is, is the Night King is going to be back, is going to be like the only one alive, and he's so powerful. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to do, like, I wish, I wish you could put more than ten different like sections of units I use all of them and all my custom battles I use all of it like look at this oh my gosh now it's just the white walkers and a few a few whites over here but white walkers versus the Spartans I forgot that the Spartans have knockback and now we can customize any unit modded units or otherwise because at first these whites were a little overpowered but maybe they were a little too underpowered hold on I've got an idea all right so these are the original whites I wonder how powerful they are against the Spartans, a.k.a. my Unsullied here. I guess you could probably easily, uh, cosmetically change the Spartans to look more like Unsullied. So now what I'm expecting to happen is the Spartans to hold the line, but the Westerosi Knights here to, like, they don't have as much... These Whites have, like, 200 damage, as opposed to, um, the Knights here. Which have, I don't know, like, 50 or something like that. So I think a knight takes, like, four hits to kill an undead. Now, these are the, uh, my modified whites. Because there's so many over here against the cavalry, and they've got the Night King. I wanted to see what would happen Spartans versus here. So, basically, Unsullied. There's a few Westerosi knights, and if I was them, I would have probably, oh, I don't know, gone behind the Unsullied. So the Unsullied are like the eunuch warriors that, um, that, uh, Daenerys got in Young Kai, right? I think it was Young Kai. It's like Marine, Young Kai, and Astapor. Maybe it was Astapor, actually. I'm getting all my cities mixed up, but look at this, man. The Unsullied have totally routed this, and now they're just dealing with, like, the more elite of the Army of the Undead, and those being the White Walkers. Arrows are coming in. They've got no catapults because all their siege equipment was taken and destroyed in the Night King's attack on Winterfell in the last battle. You know, basically leading up to this one where it was the recapture of Winterfell. Because we don't know what's gonna happen, so I can write my own narrative. And that's the fun part about these battle simulator video games, is you can recreate historical battles or, you know, recreate battles from lore all you want. So let's go ahead and do 1.5 times the normal speed. And so here we go. The last White Walkers are getting hit with arrows, but I guess unless they've got Dragon Glass on the Dragon Glass on the tips of them, they're not going to do too well. So now the Unsullied are, are sallying forth to kind of clear the city, which seems to be abandoned, but you never know. There might be a few undead left. They're going to be hunted down and dispatched by fearless and indomitable Unsullied spear warriors over here the cavalry are doing their best 
But what it's gonna take is it's gonna take reinforcements to come from the other side. Here we go. All the Westerosi Knights, maybe the Dothraki Screamers too, you could say, would be part of this giant cavalry force because it's an amalgamation. It's just like a conglomeration of all the living, I guess, except for, you know, Cersei. And cause she's like, I'm not gonna do it. I'm, I'm evil. You know, so that's how she is, right? I wanna have flying dragons. It'd be really cool to see, like, what updates could happen to this game. We did get that World War II one where we got, like, D-Day and all that stuff, which was really cool. The last of the Dothraki and the Westerosi Knights are getting cut down, but the Unsullied are coming in and basically, oh, they got there a little bit too late. All the cavalry are destroyed. And so let's see. I think these whites aren't as strong as the last ones. But where's the Night King? He's gonna be slightly blue. There he is. There he is. He's getting knocked back, actually. So this is gonna be interesting to see the Night King versus Unsullied. He's at the back of the group right now. He keeps getting knocked back. I forgot that the Spartans have knocked back. I, I, wanna, I wanna make, like, customized Spartans. And, well, I actually really want to have, like, Unsullied in Dragons. Okay, so here we go. Mr. Night King himself is just getting ping-ponged by... Well, I guess he could live to fight another day, couldn't he? Look at him. <laughs> if I was him, I would retreat and go raise another army of the undead. Although, they'd probably hunt me into the lands of always winter, right? Which is definitely where I'd retreat, but maybe that's where my ice magic is even more potent and powerful. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you for watching another episode of Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator. Leave your custom battle suggestions or, like, modded unit suggestions in the comments below, because we could definitely make more episodes. Uh, right now, basically, the modding community for Ultimate Epic Battle Simulator seem to have slowed down a lot. Uh, from what I've heard from the, the modding people I work with and have talked to, that, um... It's difficult. I guess there were some updates that made modding far more difficult than it used to be. Because the workshop, there's a lot in there, but there hasn't been much. There's only one or two active modders now. So anyway, as the Night King gets chased back and... Oh my god, wait. Hold on. Is he gonna get pushed off? No freaking way! Dude, he's getting... He's getting Spartanized. It... Is... What? The Night King escaped! To the water! He could turn it to ice. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.